In this video, I'll be talking about a few money-making methods in the Crimson Isles. Also, there were a few methods I couldn't cover. First method I'd like to talk about is equipment farming. If you didn't know, there are four major mobs that drop items that can be used to craft equipments, and they make a decent bit of coins. Not only that, but if you're lucky, you could drop one with breeze, or mana pool, or breeze plus mana pool, and they go for a lot of coins. In no particular order, the first one is magma cube. Magma cubes can be farmed for magma chunks, which can then be used to craft magma necklaces. The next one is blaze. Blazes can be farmed for blaze ashes, which can then be used to craft blaze belts. Now you can farm them in the stronghold or smoldering tomb. If you deal enough damage, I would recommend farming them in the smoldering tomb, as you get the smoldering enchant which makes a decent bit of coins. But if you can't deal a lot of damage, then you could farm in the stronghold as well, where you can get Bezos, which can also make you a decent bit of coins. Now if you only count the blaze ashes, you should be able to make around 12 mil per hour, according to current prices, if you're grinding using a hype. But I'd recommend using a giant sword, as you won't run out of mana and have a decent bit of EHP. The next one is Ghast. Ghasts can be farmed for tentacle meats, which can then be used to craft gas cloaks. Now you can farm them in this location right here, from 9pm to 5am. The best setup is a Juju or Terminator with Terror Boots and any high damage setup like Crimson or Necron and a Warden Helm. You should be able to get one every 5 minutes, which is around 30 mil per hour on average at current prices. Also, you should max out your gas tier collection, as crafting a vanquished gas cloak is really profitable. Finally, Wither Skeletons can be farmed for Wither Souls, which can then be used to craft ancient cloaks. As a sweaty hype farmer, you should be able to get a stack of Wither Souls every 20 minutes which is around 7.7 mil per hour, including the craft cost of around 1.83 mil. The next method I'd like to talk about is pet farming, where you get the materials to craft pets. First pet is the mushroom cow, for which you need 128 digested mushrooms that drop from mushroom bulls. You should be able to craft two pets per hour, so you'd be making 4.6 to 9.6 mil profit per hour, depending on what rarity you get, including the craft cost of around 1.2 mil each at current prices. The other pet is Snail, for which you need 128 burning eyes that drop from flaming spiders. You should be able to craft 3 pets per hour, so you'd be making 14.3 to 19.5 mil per hour, depending on what rarity you get including the craft cost of around 518k each at current prices. Also, while farming the mobs, you can get a Vanquisher, which is like 1-2 to two mil profit. Get a party of 4 people, with 2 hype mages and 2 tanks or berserkers, and start grinding T1 Kudra. It will make 4 mil per hour at minimum, even if you just open the free chests. But if you can get the big boy drops, it will make you a lot of coins. Also, don't forget to buy sweet spot for extra damage at the start of the run. Basically, you cycle between the three Crimson Isles bosses, Blade Soul, Mage Outlaw and Barbarian Duke. And each cycle should make around 380k. The Barb Duke makes around 360k at minimum, as it drops leather cloths, which is used to craft the Gauntlet of Contagion. But you can get other drops as well. So if you can keep up the cycle, you can make around 10 mil per hour. As you can drop some weapons and also the magma urchin. A few tricks you could try. For the blade soul, go full beast mode. As it's really close to spawn. For the mage outlaw, have a thunder bottle in your inventory. As it makes a decent bit of coins. For the barbarian duke, if you're a hype mage, just spam your hype over here. With a fire veil wand. You should also turn this setting off if you use Patcher, for better name tag visibility. If you are not a hype mage, then just TP here. Then wait for the boss to do the jumping attack, and then it'll get stuck on the fence. Then just start spamming it. But this'll make your cycle a lot slower, 
So if you don't have a lot of coins, then I'd suggest using a frozen scythe with full mage armor and a voodoo doll for all the bosses. Also get a fire veil as it helps. Also a party of people helps a lot. Ash Fang is kinda difficult, but it's highly profitable. Get a party of at least 5 people, meaning 2 mages, 2 melee berserkers and 1 tank. The mages take care of the red blazes, the melee berserkers take care of the blue blazes. But remember, your damage is capped at 1 mil per hit. So if you can deal a lot of damage, I'd recommend using a slime mat. The best sword for this is a death ripper dagger, but a giant sword or dark claymore should be decent. Finally, the tank's job is to use the jingle bells to lure the grey blazes towards the random black things, which is the only way to beat them. An average party should be able to make more than 20 mil per hour. If you watched the video up to this point, I sincerely thank you. If you want to watch more videos like this, click the button on the left. If you want to continue watching more content, click the button on the right. And don't forget to leave a comment as I read all comments.